Howdy, this is Marissa from Marissa Moments, the blog. The website is Marissa Moments at Blogspot. Oh, okay, I can't say it, but it's posted right there. Can you see it? Right there. Okay, um, so today is Wednesday, August 28th of 2013, and the post today is entitled Failure. So here's the thing. I was watching Watch What Happens Live yesterday, and the guest was Oprah. Yes, we are on first name basis. Um, she made a statement that resonated to my very bones. She said something to the extent of this. Failure doesn't exist. The universe just tells us to try something else or to make adjustments. Now, of course, that's loose phrasing. I don't remember her exact words, and I apologize for that. However, I love this so much because it is so true. Air kicking off. Oftentimes, I get down on myself because I am in fact my harshest critic. Now, I'm aware of this. I totally recognize it and I'm working on it, but anywho. You know, basically, whether it be a meal that I prepared and I determined to be subpar, you know, it's not flavorful enough, it's not, um, I don't know, cooked well enough. <laughs> um, or it could be a goal that I have yet to accomplish or even something as simple as not having cleaned my house to the white glove standard. I would generally view all of these examples as personal failures because of my perception on not being able to live up to some asinine standards that in fact only I truly care about. However, after hearing this singular statement, my views on the subject are beginning to shift. I'm slowly realizing and embracing the notion that true perfection does not exist. Yes, we can be a perfect version of ourselves in that no one else is like us, yet I refer to the overall notion behind the term perfect. Well, I went on ahead and Googled the term perfect, and this is what I got. Perfect as an adjective is having all the required or desirable elements, qualities, or characteristics. Basically, as good as it is possible to be. Hmm. This is where I restate that perfect does not truly exist outside of him. If we are constantly growing and therefore decide that failure is not an option, then guess what? It isn't. Not because of some preconceived notion as to what the term failure represents, but because if we allow ourselves the opportunity to grow and change directions, then we never truly fail. We're simply changing course to follow the path towards fulfilling a greater destiny. Now, are you pick picking up what I'm putting down? Well, I hope so. Look at it this way. If you were driving to some new destination and found yourself slightly turned around, you wouldn't get out of your vehicle and decide to set up permanent residence wherever you found yourself, would you? Um, I'd like to think not. Instead, you might break out the old GPS, gotta love modern technology, or you might stop and ask for directions or you might pull over to review the directions that you already have. I mean, there's a host of other options that you could do. So this is where I say, next time something doesn't work out the way I expect, I'm gonna try to look at the map and follow an alternate route to my ultimate destination or destiny. Our journeys, you know, they may vary greatly and our destinations and our destinies may not fit hand in hand, but I know this. Throughout life, we are required to make adjustments and adapt. If we can change our view of where we are and the results re we receive from our actions, we can achieve greatness. Remember this, failure and success is all relative. You and you alone can determine whether you will choose to sit in stagnation or to grow into who you were meant to be. Be the change you wish to see.
thank you for watching have a glorious afternoon morning evening night whatever and um, I hope that you come back and check out more posts hopefully the sound and all of that is working out right now and I will talk to you soon take care ciao toodles bye bye